Good morning, buddy. You gonna kiss daddy up? Hmm? Are you gonna kiss daddy up? What do we do, buddy? You're just as lazy. This is kind of what I have to deal with every Saturday. Lucky for Gavin, he gets to lie until around about like 2 p.m. I usually wake up around about half 11, 12, that's my lie-in, but... Lazy papas. Come on. Oh, oh. Maybe it's an owner thing, but do you not think he is the cutest? Mm. Do you not think he's the cutest? Really? <laughs> So these will be the ingredients that you will need. My chicken wings, I kind of just eyeball the ingredients. So what I'll do today to make it a little bit easier, I'll show you how much I use within every ingredient. And then I will also measure them so that you can get like, you know, an eyeball on how much that is with every ingredient. Okay, so let's go. So this would be one portion for me and how I would eyeball into using all these ingredients. I do like to keep my wings like this because I love chewing on the tips. I just find that whenever you do keep them as a whole, they're so much more juicier than cooking them separately. So I don't split them apart or anything with the wing and the drumstick. You know, but that's my personal opinion. You can do whatever you want. If you wanna separate them for just easier access whilst eating, then you go do that. What I like to do is nothing professional because I am a very, very lazy cook. Just poke holes in all of them. First, it will cook a lot easier and the marinade will soak in a lot easier into like, into the meat. Just very randomly, to be honest. It doesn't have to be anything professional. I mean, if you really want, you can just slit them up um, on a chopping board. As you have all probably collected by now, the less work I have to do, the merrier it is. Poke them like there's you, they're your enemies. Take out all your anger on them. Think a million salt. Okay, there is no order towards all of this. Okay, so we're ready. Make sure it's just covering all of the chicken on the top. Okay, well, that's really hard to tell because it doesn't actually tell me. A little dash of sesame oil for this. You don't want to overwhelm it too much. Light soy sauce. Oh, I remember this. This one's a dribble sauce. Be generous. Garlic pepper. Just generous shaving of it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Tabasco. Yeah. I really like to drench it in Tabasco. So I do. I really like that tangy taste, so it's more the merrier. I would usually use half a lemon, but I really want that sourness, sourness towards it, so I'm gonna use a lime this time. I hope it doesn't screw up the taste. But yes, use a lemon because a lemon, half a lemon will be more than enough. And then syrup to top it off. gonna get some gloves on just mix all that rub in a little mix them all in oh Gavin you bought too big of gloves look I know we substituted lime with the lemon no lemon with the lime but it smells okay I mean I don't think it'll be too much of a difference then we're gonna just pop it into the fridge. 
typical marinade of it. Um, I would approximately leave it in the fridge to marinate for maybe an hour to two hours. You know, the longer it marinates, the, the longer the marinade seeps into the bones so that you're not just eating the taste from the skin, it's actually getting into the juicy meat as well. We're having dinner at my mother-in-law's tonight, so we'll be having them there, yes excited i freaking love chicken wings i think i'm gonna do some stretching hey let's see honestly stretching has helped me for the better like i'm not very good at it because i'm not very flexible maybe it's because I, I used to never really stretch when i lifted heavy like you know after workouts and that's what's bad about it if you don't stretch the lactic acid kind of gets stuck in there and you know I don't think I'm naturally a flexible person to begin with. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, oh. Let me just take a nice big Oh my god, I'm so excited. Because I couldn't get into a headstand position, I was really annoyed with myself and I was like, well, I have the core muscles, so why? Why? How did I put them into effect? I just couldn't get my legs up. So April told me, because I was able to go into a crow, she was like, you can go actually from a crow into a headstand. It's just a different form of how you hold yourself. From the crow, I was able to like at least have my legs like three quarters up and then just throw myself up onto the wall. I was able to do that. But what I really wanted to do was able just to balance my core, like really tighten my core and balance my legs all the way up. Yes, I'm very, very happy about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll find success through persistence. And once you succeed, like it's the best feeling ever. So yes. We're just at the mother-in-law's house. So with the sauce, we just put some syrup, garlic pepper, um, Tabasco and then a little bit drizzle of soy sauce and then you just mix them together So that's going to be like what you're basting your chicken with Fan oven for at 180 degrees for around about 20 minutes um, One side and then what we're going to do is turn it to the grill fan for around about 10 minutes So we'll baste it first and then we'll turn it there for 10 minutes and then we'll swap sides Give them a nice juicy basting of that sauce then we're gonna pop them back in. Pop it onto your fan grill. This will get the, the skin nice and crispy. 10 minutes. And then cook beast. <laughs> <laughs> and then turn them right, baste them, and then we're gonna pop them in the oven again for around about 10 15 minutes until they're nice and crispy, and then voila. We have chicken wings, spaghetti bolognese and garlic bread and they are still munching on their fish and chips. Tasty. Good morning guys. Procrastinating again as always. Like 
how bad is my procrastination now? I literally procrastinate around every half an hour. It is bad. That's why whenever I wake up, um, I wake up around about half nine, ten o'clock and I keep this downstairs and I don't use the WhatsApp on my laptop because it is truly lethal. But whilst procrastinating, I kind of came across past pictures of myself and like how I really wanted, I'm still, I'm still wanting, but um, how I really wanted like a really big glutes and work very, very hard on them. And it kind of dawned on me because uh, um, at the moment I'm seeing a lot of like like squat challenges, uh, squat booty, and all like that. And I just really wanted to share my story with squats, um, because obviously I want to share everything with you guys, and um, that I've kind of learned throughout my fitness journey. It's been five years, and I still don't have the ass that I want but you know it's a work in progress but there was a duration at the very very start where it was it was like a certain point like it was nice and plump but it wasn't growing in size and I was like what is happening like, this is whenever I ask myself these questions building a booty is it all about squats that's one question that I had basically back then that's all what social media was going on right squats squats will be the one exercise to give you that nice plump booty of yours but you see the thing is right social media doesn't tell you that squat is only one of the starter foundations of building your booty it's only a very very light exercise that touches on the booty if you really look into it squats are actually a leg compound movement so it focuses all on the legs not on the glutes so this is what i didn't know and on multiple multiple times i followed like you know 100 day challenges 30 day challenges or squat really really heavy to get that booty because the heavier squat the bigger the glutes right and i would at least do leg day three times a week in hopes to get a bigger booty so a bigger booty was all i wanted but bigger thighs was all I was getting and I was like what what's happening I am very leg dominant so obviously this will not be for everyone because some people love really really strong legs but for me because of my proportion size as you can see I was complaining about my thighs getting bigger and there were no results in my squats well you can see why because you know squats are a leg dominant exercise obviously I still squat nowadays but not as much as previously like pre like my previous beginner years okay I work more on isolated glute exercises to really grow my boot and I you know see more results than I have in my previous years if you think that a squat is going to be the only thing that gives you a booty well it isn't it will be one of the small exercises that will help tone it but not give that much depth in growth like I've just had to learn that my legs are more dominant I've had to move my exercises around a little to compensate with that I mean I do I really do envy the girls that are not leg dominant because they can do so many leg exercises that help the booty as well but work the leg exercises because to build those like proportional lower body gains like I've always had that problem where my bottom half is just too muscular um for my body proportions on the top so I try to um do exercises like glute exercises that don't work the legs at all no matter what I'm a very very strong girl in the bottom half maybe in the top half as well but just not as strong petite I just can't pull off that stronger look in the bottom I love my whole body in itself but obviously you'll always have some criticism towards it and that's just my you know what I would change about myself if I could so what I really wanted to get that is the squat booty isn't the only form to build a booty it is one of the small building blocks but it's not the only exercise that will give you a booty social media can be quite misconceiving sometimes not always but sometimes but like you know you can you can you can see where I'm getting at I'm so sorry for the rant it's just that you know sometimes like I just wish someone had told me that I was leg very leg dominant and you know squats were not gonna be my best friend in the long run so so I wish someone had told me those things so uh, like I understand that a lot of my following you are starters you're beginners this is not me telling you not to do squats it's more like just informing you on what squats do if you are just beginning and you think you're very leg dominant like me so I'm not saying that you should skip out squats 
or skip out leg day at all. It's just, you know, um, there's always a balance towards everything.